Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to give you another daily dose of a dismal Disney. Yeah. Disney's in trouble. Well, Disney Plus has a show called Behind the Attraction. Mm -hmm. Now there is some, you know, speculation about possibly plagiarizing uh, another YouTuber's work, you know, in regards to their Behind the Attraction show about the Tower of Terror. So we're going to look at that. It's not technically Disney, but they okayed it. But Disney has been themselves accused of plagiarizing and taking things many, many times. Yeah, I mean, look, guys, this is Disney taking taking from fans. Uh, it's an almost daily occurrence. We know I that. Mean, well, when they had the Baby Yoda stuff, yep. like the fans are making merch before they actually had official merch out. They actually just took what the fans, some of the stuff the fans had done, and just made it official merch. So that, and oh, you have to stop. Yeah, and and that's the thing, Disney, and they get away with it because you know they have really good lawyers, and technically, if it's their IP. But there's a loophole with this. Oh. Oh, uh, yes. I'm going to talk about that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, over 235,000 subs. Thank you for the support. Where's woo the woohoo? Where's Sorry. the woohoo? I was looking at my phone because Pinky Boo was writing me. Woohoo! Give me a woohoo. Woohoo! Okay. That's two woohoos for you. Uh, yeah, so we do talk a lot about Disney having worked in and around the company and being avid theme park fans. Uh, bigger fans a couple of years ago than we are now, mm -hmm. but, you know, we still go as often as, as we can, given there's a pandemic and stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah, so you wrote that, uh, you wrote this uh, article this morning mm -hmm. about the Tower of Terror uh, behind the attraction. Yeah, do you want me to take it from here? Yeah, take it from okay. here. Okay, so if you haven't seen the Behind the Attraction show on Disney+, Plus, it basically takes you behind the attraction. So they explain really? to you. Yeah, they do interviews and things, and they explain to you, like, you know, how the attraction works and how it came to be and that kind of stuff. So the one of the recent ones was the Tower of Terror. However, when they, in the, in this you know, documentary, um, people noticed that there was a big similarity to the YouTube channel Art of Engineering. Art of Engineering is a YouTube channel that basically is an engineer and he goes around and breaks down how certain rides work. Sometimes they're Disney, sometimes they're just in general. And about, you know, from an engineering standpoint, you know, why it works the way it does and, you know, how it's laid out. Now, he doesn't have access to the blueprints or anything official from Disney. This is him doing his own, you know, 3D renderings or mm -hmm. like 2D renderings or whatever, how he's doing. I think he does both of the attraction um, in his own time. And he does this, you know, for his YouTube channel. So... That's great, except for in the Disney Behind the Attraction special, they had a, a piece of art or like 2D, you know, description of the ride that looks like it was literally traced over his, including the spacing. So here yeah. is, this is his version from the Art of Engineering. Okay. As you can see, like it's all, how it's laid out, it's all very nicely done, well, very so definitely an cool. uh, engineer, someone who worked in a drafting program. Right, right. You know, you know and then he takes, I guess in the, in the video, he takes us, you know, through it, like each part mm -hmm. and then explains it. Well, now if you go down, here is the one from behind the attraction. Can I have this? Oh, they just traced over it. Yes, they did. Because look, even the spacing, look, look, look here. Look how this is right here, right? Yeah. The spacing, go up here. Yeah, the elevators in the Even exact the three same dots, place. Three dots, three dots. It's like it's like it looks literally they're connected because they literally just traced over it. Yeah. Um, and and then you know this was what you think would be the official one. This isn't the official one. This one is the official one. Even um, the placement of the elevator and everything, like this little what is this right? Even here? the clock is pretty much the same. Even the clock is the same time. Sim not the same, but it's similar. Yeah, well, the clock goes around. But, like, this little thing here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They literally just traced over it. This is my p opinion. Okay? In my opinion, as somebody who is an art teacher, and you who's somebody who's a professional artist mm -hmm. and a graphic designer, this does appear, even to the spacing being the same, that it could be traced over. Because... If, if, if he had actual access to their, their official documents, you could say, okay, well, he just copied it in. Right. But he doesn't. He doesn't, So this yeah. is that, 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 everything, the spacing, the spacing is even the same. Here, can I see this for one second? So there's that one. I want to see one more thing on here and see if it matches up. I'm looking at the corner there. Yeah, look, he has like right here, look. He has the, the two pieces and there's a break right there, mm -hmm. see? And you go over here. It, even the break right there has been like left where the break is and everything. Yeah, I mean this is clearly traced from from his. They made it. They you know gave a more professional. 
I don't think that, I think his looks more professional than theirs does, in mm. my opinion. So, okay. So that was interesting. And people brought it to his attention. Yeah. They're like, several people have mentioned that the graphics in the Tower Tear episode of Behind the Attraction are very similar to my YouTube video. So I decided to give it a watch for myself. Left is my original, the blue. Right is Behind the Attraction, the red. We've looked at that. So um, it is important to note, before I get into what else he said, that the Behind the Attractions show is not produced by Disney. It's mm. aired on Disney Plus, but it's actually produced by Dwayne Johnson's Seven Bucks production company. Interesting. And the director on the show, the person behind it is this uh, Brian Volk Weiss, That's... who is the other, he owns in the Cell Company, which is the other half. The Toys That Made Us. Is it the same people? Toys well, anyway, they're the ones that own this. Oh. So somebody somewhere, you know, is, is you know, they let it through, and then Disney approved it and put it on Disney Plus and let it through. Whoever approved it probably isn't aware of, you know, every right. little... Well, now they are. So, uh, but, now they but are. But they aren't going to... You know darn well they won't do anything. Oh. So, you know, in the past, people were like, well, it's Disney's property, and that's what they've done. They've, they've had made similar merchandise for the parks and things we've seen at Etsy and other places. But, oh, but we own the character, so we can do that. Well, here's what he's saying about this. Here's, here's the fly in the ointment um, for Disney or whoever did this. Um, thanks to everyone for all the support and kind words regarding the situation with Behind the Attraction on Disney+. Plus. We all know Disney's reputation when it comes to copyright, and I believe the content on their platform should be held to the same standard. Because, you know, they go after, they think anybody infringes on them. Yeah. Even if they don't. You know, yeah, they throw yeah. the book at and then how how long has their characters been laws been changed so they never go to public domain? Mm -hmm. Okay, Disney did not create the series; they did work with the production studios involved, and it's ultimately hosted on their platform. A lot of artists get pushed around by Disney, but I'm not a typical artist, and I happen to know a thing or two about copyright law. Most claims from small creators get swept under the rug by Disney because a lot of their art falls into the category of fan art or derivative work. If you draw a picture of Mickey Mouse, Disney automatically owns the rights to your work and they can use it as they please, which is what happens to people on Etsy that and stuff. That is what happens, yep. However, Tower of Terror is not typical artistic work. It is a building. Buildings fall under a different set of rules when it comes to copyright law because they are protected as architectural works. And this protection differs from things like paintings or IP in films. If a building is viewable to the public in the United States, then you are allowed to create an artistic representation of that building, like a photograph or drawing, without violating copyright. This is outlined in the Architectural Works Copyright Protection Act. Engineering plans and blueprints are still protected as regular artistic works, but as I said previously, uh, previously I did not even have access to these when I created my video. All the drawings in the video are my own artistic representation of the building and the ride system. This means that not, on, not only is this one of the most blatant cases of plagiarism from Disney, but also it's also a rare instance when copyright law might not be on their side. Oh. Uh-oh. As a small creator, I'd love oh, to see no. Disney, Seven Bucks, and The Cell held accountable. Keep pressure on them. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's biting. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, that is how Disney gets away with a lot of this. Now, look, just in the last, you know, year or two, there there have been numerous examples of of Disney lifting Star Wars uh, you know, fan renderings, ships and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And a lot of times they claim, well, yeah, uh it's your TIE fighter, but technically we own TIE, we fighters. Own TIE fighters, the whole concept of TIE fighters. And even if it's derivative, that's how they get away with it. But it's been very blatant lately that they've been doing this and, and well, i know with baby yoda like i said when the merch came out i actually saw them do merch exactly like what the fans had released when they finally released official merchandise yeah and and what they do a lot of times is they kind of let disney fans test the waters you know and they'll put something out there and if it winds up being popular then disney will swoop in yeah because they'll say well, we own it and technically yeah, they do technically they do but in this instance they don't no so that's going to be really interesting uh, to see how this works out. Honestly, what will probably happen since it's digital, they can just you know switch out the graphics really quick, uh, give them an apology, and then just upload. If a new they version. even do that, because a lot of times what they do is they will just run you out of money, or they they won't because they don't want they don't want the bad PR of admitting guilt. Yeah. So they're not. They probably won't admit guilt. They'll probably just change it and say nothing, or it'll go away because they'll pay them off or whatever. But they don't. Disneyland's not like admitting guilt. Yeah. At least credit the dude. Yeah, at least credit the guy. Give him give him credit. You know, but yeah, they they do this a lot. Um, 
We've seen many, many cases of it, but they do count on you not knowing the law or not having the money to fight them. Maybe he has a case this time. I don't well, know. it sounds like he does. Very I mean, like, so, you know, this is all, I'd say it's alleged, but we saw the pieces of art. I mean, it, it, the, the little dots, even the little dots on top of the tank, the three little dots, they just traced around them to the place, the three gauges. Yeah. He doesn't even know how many gauges were on it. No. He just and like, look, made it up all on the All the flyer. spacing is exactly the same. All yeah. of it. Like, if it was, okay, for example, if he just made it up and he didn't actually see the blueprints, you know, and they had theirs based on blueprints. I would, I would guess some of these these shafts and stuff would be a different, you know, different yeah. widths. Yeah. They would have, they would be different, but they're not. It's all the exact same. There's, yep. it's clearly traced. Yep. Um. Yeah. So I think, I think that, uh, yeah, <laughs> he's got a pretty good case. Uh, but you know, maybe if they were smart, they would throw some money at him because it would be cheaper than than fighting a legal battle and give him uh, a credit on the show mm -hmm. for the, you know graphics or something and uh it, it will go away if they decide to fight it it's probably not going to go away as quickly I'm just saying well they'll just run you out of money yeah that's what they try to do yeah so anyway i just thought this was interesting it's very interesting and we've you know again Busted. you know disney is a big company you know they've been uh accused of things <laughs> mm -hmm. you know for a very very long time uh stealing ideas you know sometimes they'll they they'll... make you so they won't look at a pitch unless you agree that if something comes out that's very much like yours that you're agreeing that 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 they are you know completely un, unaccountable for it that it was just a, a whoopsie doopsie accidental look at that we accidentally came up with almost the exact same idea as you after we gave you money uh, and had you sign paperwork that if we come up but with it's just something, coincidental it's just coincidental yeah, and again, we just happened to change a TV show name to sound almost like a pitch you gave us. <laughs> I know, right? but it's just next. It, even just though that wasn't that wasn't the name that was given when the pit in the in the pickup announcement, and it did changed after your pitch. But hey, it's just coincidence. Just a coincidence. It's a coincidence. All right, so we're gonna wrap this one up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.